back to our discussion of the Decemberist uprising. So, like I said, uh, it was crushed. And uh, surprisingly, you know, the Russian government was really soft on these rebels. Um, only five were sentenced to death and they were hanged. And these were the five guys I showed you in this uh, uh, piece of architecture. And it was young Nicholas Tsar the first who crushed uh, this rebellion. Uh, so, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, to give you guys a recap, um, soldiers who fought in Napoleonic Wars joined Masonic Lodges and they really liked what they saw in Western Europe. And, you know, they, you know, planned this super uh, interesting conspiracy to overthrow the Tsar and, you know, the government and introduce a Western Republic, you know, Western Republican uh, type of government uh, into Russia, you know, with democracy and with all that other good stuff. Um, and they failed, you know, because uh, they did not know what they were doing and they did not have a leader and they did not really agree on their agenda and what exactly they want to achieve. Okay, these were the main reasons. Now, um, something really interesting. Um, if you look at, uh, like a lot of people got punished, uh, you know, only five got hanged. Um, many of them were sent to Siberia. And, you know, what is really interesting is that one of those people who was indirectly involved with the December uprising was uh, Fedor Dostoevsky, the greatest, uh, you know, one of the greatest geniuses in liter literature. Um, I'm sure you've heard of him. You've heard of, you know, Crime and Punishment, Brothers Karamazov. Uh, so he was actually a part of this December uprising. Now, it's kind of questionable uh, to what extent he was involved, and he was not actually that involved, but, um, you know, he was punished for his involvement, and he was, uh, he actually survived a mock execution, and it was uh, later substituted uh, to um, imprisonment in Siberia, but, um, you know, as you know, he survived, and then he came back uh, to St. Petersburg and wrote all that great literature. Now, um, I would like to address uh, kind of, you know, a really controversial question of, well, what if it did succeed? Like, what if this, um, you know, rebellion did succeed and, you know, the Sambrists got what they wanted? Um, you know, a lot of people say it would be a good thing. A lot of, you know, some historians, they said, you know, it would be a kind of democracy, you know, Russia would get more westernized, it would, um, you know, pick up with its economic development, it would kind of catch up with the West. Uh, but I think that's really, really not the case. And, you know, all these claims are really, really stupid. Um, well, the thing is, Decemberists did not know what the heck they were doing. Like, they simply were amateurs. Um, it's kind of like, you know, if you take, um, you know, a bunch of uh, business students from, you know, like Cambridge or Oxford, you know, and you ask them, well, could you make life better? And, you know, they would say, oh, hell yeah, you know, like I would change my system like this, like that. But uh, it doesn't work that way. Like, I mean, you know, politics, you know, ruling and governing comes with experience. It comes with a lot of you know, trial and error. And these um, guys, you know, these Decemberists, I mean, they were soldiers. I mean, they had no political experience whatsoever. Like, none of them did. You know, um, you know, let me ask you a question. Like, I mean, did you ever start a project, you know, thinking, man, like, that would be a great project, you know, like you, you know, decide to do some complicated renovation by yourself? And then you kind of see, like, man, it's not that simple. It's not how I thought it would be. You know, did you ever start a job? You know, you got into a job. You know, you thought, man, this would be a great job. And you kind of find out, well, it sucks. Well, same thing. Like, you know, if you do not know what it is you're getting into, you're in for a surprise. And, you know, same thing with their, 
you know, economic uh, plans. Like, they would all be a total disaster. And it's a good thing that this uprising failed. 